Yeah, good day. Welcome to another episode of Business and High. My name is Olayemi Akwade. Today, I will be talking about um, reflecting your brand. Reflecting your brand. Have you ever been to a store? Let's just paint an hypothetical situation. Like you went into a store, you want to repair your phone. And lo and behold, on the counter of um, the person that sent it to you, you saw that the guy actually wrapped his phone with a rubber band. What comes to mind? How can a store that claims to repair phone um, be having such kind of phone? I mean, they start having this kind of phone. I mean, it, it, it reduces confidence. Or another example is you go into a beauty store where you're telling yourself that, okay, um, since they promise that um, they're going to give you skincare, um, that was, I mean, skincare that is going to make your skin more beautiful and, you know, um, cleaner. And lo and behold, the person attending to you has a skin disease or rashes and all that. What comes to mind? I mean, how can these people actually deliver on what they promise if their staff are not reflecting the product? So, whatever you're selling, as far as possible, as much as possible rather, ensure that it shows on you and shows on your staff. Now, sometimes you're probably in a business whereby you, it cannot reflect, it cannot show. Maybe you're into luxury goods and um, you probably, such can really not show on your staff. Maybe you're selling jewelry that's expensive, I mean, or you're selling cars. In that case, you have to make sure that your environment actually reflects luxury. Your environment actually needs to reflect the fact that what you sell is actually luxurious. You can have cheap furniture or dated environment and you saying people should come in to buy something expensive. I mean, it doesn't correlate. Now, another thing is this. Ensure that your staff, they know a little bit, at least a little bit about everything you sell. It could be pretty annoying if you enter a store and you probably want to buy something and Hello, hi. What does this do? How do I use this? And the lady or the guy at the desk said, uh, I don't know. Let me ask my supervisor. I mean, it's cool. Put a customer off. Now, some people might actually have um, a store where they sell specialized things. Maybe you have a store or supermarket. And um, within the supermarket, you also have a pharmaceutical section, pharmaceutical question, uh, session rather, where you sell drugs. In such a case, it might be difficult for somebody that is actually man in the supermarket area to know so much about drugs. Yeah, that's understandable. In that case, we have to put a staff, a pharmacist, right, to actually undo a man's such debt so that when a customer comes and actually, what kind of drug um, is this? How do I use this? The person can actually respond without having to say, okay, let me go ask my supervisor or let me go ask this, um, this person somewhere. So basically, let your staff, let your environment, let you reflect your brand. Let you reflect what you said. And it's going to go a long way in installing confidence in the mind of customers. All right, this brings us to the end of today's show, Business on High. And um, I'd like you to drop your comments, um, your observations, your experience, if you have any, or any other tips that can be added to today's topic. And if there is any question you want to ask me, or there is any topic you want me to talk about, also drop it at the comments box. Thank you so much for watching this episode. My name is Olayemi Akundi. Goodbye.